Hello students, welcome back. Today we will learn how to draw graph. As a student of geography, just as you should know how to read map, how to draw the map, you should also know how to plot a graph. So today we will start with how to draw a compound graph. Chapter number 9, exercise, page number 74, question number 6. Everyone will refer to this question. Keep this question in front of you while doing this graph. Question number 6 of your exercise reads, In the following table, export-import of some countries in the year 2014-15 is given in million US dollars. Make a compound bar graph of the given statistical information. Read the bar graph carefully and comment upon the balance of payment of the respective countries. Okay, read the question again. They have asked you to draw compound bar graph. What is given in the statistical information? Import and export of some countries is given. Okay, and you have to make a compound graph. What is that statistical information? Here it is. The countries are China, India, Brazil and USA. Export and import of the year 2014 and 15 is given and you have to draw it in the uh, on the graph paper in a compound graph form. Okay, And the data that is given to you is in million US dollars. Fine. What is given? China's export is 2143 million US dollars and its import is 1960 US million dollars. You can see of India 272 and 380, of Brazil 190 and 241, US is 1510 and 2380. With this information, we will start how to plot the bar graph. Students, so this is a graph paper. Okay, you can see some horizontal and some vertical lines. Is it clear? The smallest grid, okay, the smallest grid which is there is of 1 centimeter square. Okay, so the length and the breadth is of 1 centimeter. So this smallest grid is of 1 square centimeter. With this information, we will start the plotting. Here, things which are required before you start actually the plotting. Here you have to draw the compound bar graph. So, student don't forget to show the name. What is the name? Compound bar graph showing export and import. The first important thing is you have to show this, the namings. Okay. What is the name? Compound bar graph of export and import. Okay. Then you have to write down the scale. Can you see the scale is written in this grid? What does the scale reads? 1 centimeter is equal to 200 million US dollar. 1 centimeter is equal to 200 million US dollar on the y axis. Now you will be wondering what is x and the what is y axis. Student have a look here. The horizontal line. Okay. The horizontal line is your x axis. And the vertical line here is your y axis. X axis, you have shown the countries, your country China, India, Brazil, US. Okay. And on the y axis, which is your vertical line, you have written export import in million US dollar. Is it clear? And what have you written as your scale? You have written 1 centimeter is equal to 200 million US dollar on your y axis. Okay. So, this is the next important thing that you have to show on your graph. After writing the name of the graph, the scale is important. Third is your plot, third is your drawing of your axis. That is your x axis and your y axis have to be shown. Now, your y axis and your x axis, they intersect in at 0 which is your point of origin 
your x axis and y axis intersect at point of origin which is 0 okay so this is your third important thing what was your first one naming was first your scale is the second one and your drawing of your axis is the third one so your x axis and your y axis so on x axis you have shown the countries on y axis you are writing the export import in million dollars and here you have taken the scale as 1 centimeter is 200 meters. Mind you student the scale is not given but you have to draw an appropriate scale. Okay. Since your maximum value is 2380 that means you can take 24 that is 100, 200, 300 if 24 comes up till here or you can take a difference of 100, 100. Uh, or 200 as, as I have taken here. Okay. So, your maximum 2300 will be somewhere mm. here. So, at least one or two extra you will be taking. I repeat, minimum is 200 and uh, is 190 and maximum is 2380. Your minimum is 190 and your maximum is 2380. Right. So, maximum will be your 2400 okay so if you take 200 400 600 which that will be an appropriate graph neither too big nor too small okay so after drawing that graph after writing what are your four countries that are mentioned you require to plot china india brazil and us so can you see i have left interval of one centimeter then two blocks or 2 cm for China, again an interval of 1 cm and again 2 cm for India, again an interval of 1 cm, again 2 blocks or 2 cm for Brazil and so on. Student, it is seen that when you actually start plotting the graph, you uh, change your interval, you change the difference between the two uh, graphs which doesn't look proper. Okay, so interval should also be same. So after a different after the gap of one centimeter, two centimeters for China because you will be showing export as well as import. Again, the gap India starts two centimeters for India. Again, a gap of one centimeter, and your other countries will be shown in the same order. Then you have shown on the y-axis the uh, export import value in US million dollars 200, 400, 600 maximum is 2380 which is almost 2400 but you can show one or two extra so you can show up to 2800 US million dollars okay so that was your third thing that you have done after drawing your axis you have shown the uh, what is to be plotted on your x and your y axis so that was your fourth thing and finally we will be showing the index we will be showing the index can you see index i have made two grids one is for export the other is for import so suppose i am shading the export like this i might leave the import plain or if you have time you can also shade it completely it depends how much time you have in the exam Either one of the two you can leave plain and you can shade the other one. Okay. So, I am shading export and I am leaving import as it is. Okay. We start with the actual plot plotting. Mind you students, you required a nice pointed pencil and a good ruler here. Generally, your ruler should be a transparent one. For drawing this axis, you might take a big ruler, transparent or opaque. But for drawing the or plotting the actual graph, better take a transparent ruler. Okay. What does export of China shows? 2143 US million dollars. 2143. Okay. 2000 and 2200. So, your, so your 2143 will come between 2000 and this will be 2100. So, a little bit about 2100. So, you are showing export. Okay. So, I will be plotting export 2100 and little bit above. This is your 2200 and little bit above that 
almost 2100. Okay, so 2100 will be only up to this much, a little bit about 2100. Okay, whatever is extra, you can rub that off. So 2140. So 40 is very negligible. So only 2100 will be fine. <coughs> then the import of China. It is 1960-1960. So this is your 18, this is your 2000, so this is your 19 and little bit above 19. Okay. So this is your 19, little bit above 19. And I will be drawing the vertical line. Students, I will be doing the plotting first. Shading can be done later on. So China, is it complete? 2143, which is almost 2100. Can you see 2000 and 2200 ke beech mein 2100 will come. 1960, right? 1960. 1800 and 2000 ke beech mein 19 will come. 60 is very negligible about it. So little bit above 19. Now we go for India. 272. Okay. 272 so your 200 this will be your 300 can you see i am doing in india now so 300 this is your 300 but how much you have 272 okay little less than 300 fine and its import is 380 little less than 400 so this is your 400 so little less than 400 will be India's import So we have shown India's export as 272 and import as 380. Less than 400, it should look like less than 400. Now we go for Brazil. Brazil's import is 190. 190 is almost 200. So little less than 200. marginally less than 200 and its import is 241 little above 200 Okay, so Brazil's export 190, import 241. Now we go for USA. US export is 1510. So where is your 15, 1400 or 1600 ke beech mein 15 hai. Right, 1500 hai. And 1510 means almost 1500. So let us go for US. And 
its import is 2380 almost 2400 where is your 2400 here it is Okay, this is your plotting. But what have we shaded? The fifth important thing that we have done was your index. Export you have shown with this marking and import you have let it as it is. Now student generally this marking should be, should be with pencil. Be very nice and fair to draw it with pencil. But here I am just showing with the pencil and ruler it should be. But I am just showing it with my bare hands. You should do it with pencil. Use this trick only when you don't have or when very less time is there in the exam. Okay, so this is how your graph should look like. <coughs> Excuse me export and import is or if you have time you can do the shading also if you want okay you can do the shading remember you do the shading like this so complete shading bhi kar sakte ho only if you have time but then if you are doing lighter and darker shading also it doesn't look nice your impression will be very bad in front of the exam paper check who the one who is checking so better leave it plain am i very clear Students, you have to copy, you have to draw this same one as your assignment 3. Previously, we have done two assignments. This is your third assignment. You, what should you do? You should take a graph paper, plot your graph here and the question should be written on the, on the behind of the graph. Okay, write the question, the table behind the graph. I hope compound graph is very clear. 10th standard you have to draw graph also and you have to plot graph also we will be doing the same in the 9th standard also okay so now you have learned how to draw compound graph can you see for compound graph you are drawing two uh, bars here but if only one bar is drawn it is called as a single bar graph or just a bar graph we will be learning how to draw line graphs also and pi diagrams also thank you students